Hi, I'm Dawn Blunt. I am the safety educator with Bright and Fire, and I'm going to read you one of my favorite books called No Dragons for Tea. So let's see what happens if we invite dragons for tea. One warm sunny day at the end of last week, my mom and I went for a walk to the creek. As I raced down the hill in my little red wagon, I veered to the left and smacked into a dragon. I suppose you could see there was fear in my eyes as I jumped on my feet quite filled with surprise. He sheepishly grinned and stepped out of the way, but he seemed so polite that I asked him to play. He had a cute bear and some other toys too. With my shovel and pail, we'd have oodles to do. We ran to the creek and then on to the bay where we played on the beach for the rest of the day. Then mom, then mom yelled and said, now it's time to go eat. Let's pack the red wagon and head up the street. It's hard to stop playing with friends old or new. So I asked if the dragon could, dragon could come to eat too. Mom wrinkled her brow and squinted her eyes, looking up at the dragon's incredible size. I begged and I pleaded then said, very sweet. We won't make a mess, we'll be tidy and neat. So at last she said, yes, just this once I'll agree. You may have the dragon come over for tea. We had carrots and apples, thick slices of ham with fresh homemade biscuits and strawberry jam, cold glasses of milk and a great big dill pickle. But the pepper we sprinkled sure made my nose tickle. Then the dragon's nose twitched and he started to wheeze. His eyes missed it up and he blew a great sneeze. Ah-choo! Well, we all know what happens when dragons a-chew. Flames shot from his mouth and from both nostrils too. Our tablecloth sparked and then burst into flame and the curtains that hung right beside did the same. The smoke, al smoke alarm rang, what a loud piercing sound. It meant get out fast, so I dropped to the ground. The room filled with smoke as I crawled on the floor and started to make my way to the front door. The dragon got scared and decided to hide, but I knew when there's fire, we must get outside. I grabbed his thick tail and with one mighty tug, I pulled that big dragon from under the rug. I crept down the hallway and said, follow me. I know the way out. We must meet by the tree. So mom and the dragon and I all met there then that silly old dragon went back for his bear. We ran up and caught him and wouldn't let go. And I said, listen dragon, here's what you should know. Don't ever go back, that just will not do. We can get a new bear, but we can't replace you. Since the fire was burning inside of our home, we went to the neighbors to borrow the phone. Mom knew what to dial and said calm and clear. Here's our full street address and the fire trucks here. Before very long down our street, they came sailing with bright red lights flashing and loud sirens wailing. The fire crew rushed to start work on their tasks. They were dressed in big boots and wore helmets and masks. They hooked up the hose and ran into the house where they sprayed streams of water in order to douse. The table, the curtains, our lovely snack too. And it didn't take long till that fire was through. The fire chief called out the door with a shout. The smoke made in a mess, but the fire is out. My poor friend the dragon knew he was to blame, so he hung down his head and wept great tears of shame. One of the fire crew said, don't be sad. You knew what to do and of that we're quite glad. You all got out safely, that's really what matters. Then she took us to see the big pump truck and ladders. The dragon put on a shiny red hat and I asked to see where the fire crew sat. She showed us the siren, the hoses and lights and the ladders they, re they climb up to reach higher heights. The rest of the fire crew checked all the rooms while a fan in the door blew out gray smoke and fumes. Then the dragon and I, we sat down for a while. I reached up and hugged him. He gave me a smile. The next time the dragon and I want to play, we'll pack up a picnic and head to the bay. 
We're friends tried and true, the best we can be. But I'll never again invite dragons for tea. So remember, the best place for us to be if there's a fire is outside. And the best way to get there is by crawling low under the smoke. And we never want to hide because we can't hide from fire. And if we're hiding inside the house, we're not outside where it's safe. And also, we don't go back in the house for anything, not even our pets. We can get new toys, and if we have pets left in the house, we can let the firefighters know when they get there, and they can help our pets. It's important to get outside and stay there, and that's where we should call 911 from. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Happy reading.